Question 16 says, the table below shows the income tax rates of government employees. Now, um, if you study the table very well, you can see uh, the several taxable income, their range, and the percentage range. Now, this question says an employee has a gross monthly income of 703900 including non-taxable monthly allowance as given below, marriage allowance 126500 per month, housing and transport is 15% of gross monthly income, medical care 48000 per month. Find his taxable income. Now, the first thing you need to know about calculating uh, taxable income, it's uh, you need to know that taxable income, for you to calculate the taxable income, the formula is always gross minus allowance. Now, having established this formula, this now we were given the gross as what 703 900. Now, allowances includes this is the marriage allowance, the transport, and um, the medical care. So, for us to calculate his allowance, we are going to sum up allowance would be marriage plus uh, we're going to include transport, then plus medical the medical care so this is going to give us uh, the marriage is 126,500 transport it's uh, they said 50 percent of gross which is 15 over 100 multiplied by the gross is 703,900 plus why uh, medical care it's uh, 48,000 now this is going to be 126,500 plus Calculating 50% of this is going to give us uh, it's going to give us 10.585 plus this will be 48,000. So um, when you sum this up, you are going to get uh, 280085. Now recall that this is what his allowance. So uh, remember we're trying to look for what his taxable income. So our taxable income, it's going to be, uh, what's the gross? Our gross is uh, 703,900. We'll subtract the uh, allowance, which is 280,085. Now, this is going to give us, uh, this is our unit, that's 423,815. So now, that is exactly how to calculate uh, your taxable income. Now, question B says uh, that we should find his net income. Now, in order for you to find his net income, you have to calculate the, st uh, the taxable income for every of the hundreds of thousand. Now, the first one says between 100,000 and less than 200,000. So, for the first 100,000, you are going to do 10 over 100 multiplied by 100,000. Now, notice this is going to give you what? 10,000. So, that's the first one. So, so for the second level, this is going to be 20 over 100. Now notice this is between 200,000 and 300,000. So it's still the same uh, 100,000 here because the difference between these two is 100. So this is going to give you uh, 20,000. So within this category, uh, it's been charged 20,000. Now here is 30 over 100 multiplied by hundred thousand same thing applies so within this category if it's ending within this level this particular part is going to be charged um here is going to give us um, thirty thousand now if you recall his taxable income that we got is actually four two three eight one five so within this level that's between um that uh, this level belongs to four hundred thousand and less than 500,000. So here it's going to be, uh, we will need to do 423815 subtract 400,000 because uh, his taxable income is actually um, 423. So within this level, we are going to get the um, required value, which is going to be um, this will give us 23. 815. So we are going to be performing the percentage on 23815. 
so this is going to give us uh, when you do that you are going to get this will be uh, 9526 so having gotten this value so we are going to sum up all the income at every level so this is 10,000 plus 20,000 plus uh, 30,000 and plus 9526 when you sum this up you're going to get 625 this will be 9 and this will be 6 so his taxable income is this and as easy as that you can attempt this question now to recap this question first of all you need to uh, identify each of the levels which is uh, if he's within this category just like we said within this category um, he, his, his income was 423815 so here it's 100,000 it's going to be taxed fully here 100,000 is going to be taxed fully 100,000 is going to be taxed fully here so that is exactly why we got each of them here we calculated 10 percent here 20 percent and here 30 percent now at the uh the 400,000 level uh recall that his taxable income is 423815 so we are going to subtract um 400,000 to get 23815 and we will perform the percentage of that so you need to sum up each of the in, um, taxable income at its level and you are going to get 69526. Now, this is one of the questions you are going to be expecting in your exam, in the UNEB UC math exam. So, um, it will be wise if you go through this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more videos.